our hike. A three hour hike it is. Welcome back guys. I'm here with another vlog slash review of a resort. Me and my bestie are headed to Carefree, Arizona. We are going to stay at the wellness resort Savannah and we're headed there but we're going to stop and grab some brunch to eat before we get to the resort. This is the cran, uh, cran apple I think and this is the pomegranate. Alright, the minor This was a highly anticipated trip. We had been talking about doing something like this for years now. So happy that we finally just made it happen. Um, Arizona is beautiful, which you'll continue to see in the video. So I definitely recommend visiting even if you don't go to the resort. Um, it's definitely somewhere I want to return to. We flew into Phoenix and then we rented a car and drove to Carefree. It was about a 45 minute drive. so. Um, I think it is more cost effective to rent a car, um, but you can always get transport from the resort. On the Savannah website, there is a list of a ton of wellness classes to choose from. So you're able to choose, I think, two or three before arriving to the resort. But then once you get to the resort, you can use their app and fill in the rest of your schedule. They have everything from yoga to fitness classes. We planned our trip for mid-February, so it's kind of like our little Galentine's gifts to each other. Um, the weather was amazing. So I think the highs were in the 70s and then the lows were 50s but literally like from 11 on it was like warm and pretty hot so it didn't really get cold until late at night. This is our room. That's the Black Mountain. So we are headed to our first class of the weekend. Um, so far we've had an amazing massage, like I legit fell asleep. <laughs> and then we are now going to our first class. It's called, what is it called? Manifesting. Manifesting. So yeah, we're walking over there. Um, the view, the sun is kind of setting. Beautiful. The weather is amazing. Yeah, we're loving it so far. So. All right, here we go. So they have this water purification center, multiple ones around the property. And these are all the things it has in it. I just filled up my water bottle and they gave us this when we checked in. And of course it's stainless steel. Love that. So, headed to our class now. My word is purposeful and the lack of discipline, social media, etc. Mm. Love that. My word is intention. Um, trying to be more. Um, intentional about the things that I want to do, no, not saying no. So we are back in the room. We just went to the class burning intention and I thought it was really good. 
for that to be like the kickoff of our weekend and our first class, it was really, really good, very insightful and transformative. You're just gonna have to try to experience that for yourself, but it was great atmosphere. The group um, was pretty much all women, so we could relate to each other and the instructor was amazing. So yeah, we're back in the room, just chilling. Here's Naka. And yeah, trying to figure out what's next. Morning. I am headed to my first class this morning. It is a TRX class, so walking to where the class is supposed to be. I'm a little late, but I'm excited to get started. Naka is going to the spa right now. So I'm gonna do this class and then we'll meet up later at the spa. And across the street, it looks like the class is at a tennis court, maybe. Late. So we just did ecstatic dance class. And basically the classes, you go there and she like is talking and encouraging you and you just some words of affirmation and like literally you're just doing whatever your body wants to do. But, and there's music and the music is like EDM music. And then, yeah, so you just dance for a straight hour. It was fun at first, but after a while I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah. It was okay. We've done like two other classes, so to each his own. I probably wouldn't recommend it. I think I like the other classes better, but yeah, that was interesting. We are getting ready to head out for dinner, and we're late, so we're rushing. Just threw on this sweater dress and some boots, and yeah, that's it. So we are at White Chocolate Grill. It had, was highly reviewed when we came here and our waitress recommended it. But yeah, so we're about to eat dinner and then we have to get some dessert apparently because they're known for their dessert. So I had the idea to bring our little booklet that we got when we tucked in. And it has several prompts in here for you to use like throughout your time here. So one of them is my attitude for today is the altitude I reached and how I kindled my mind today. So different prompts just to make you be mindful. Yeah, and they give each one of us one of these whenever we check into the hotel. So we decided to have breakfast in-house at Tara's, the restaurant on site. Um, the food was amazing. The breakfast was like nine out of 10. Our food, the first night we had dinner, I would say five out of 10, maybe it's what we chose, but their food is really good, very healthy, tons of vegan options, but it's a little overpriced, but there are other restaurants off of the property that you can try. So we are getting ready to go on a hike, three hour hike. It's really cool that they got us these backpacks because I did not bring a hiking backpack, so that's awesome that they're providing it. And we're about to go. Had really good breakfast, gluten-free matcha green pancakes were amazing. I can't believe they're gluten-free. Need that recipe ASAP, but so we ate breakfast. We're gonna go hiking, and then after the hike, going to probably spend the rest of the time at the pool, and then we have a evening class. So we basically cleared our schedules for this hike. I was supposed to go to the spa earlier today, but I'm just gonna do it after in between the hike and our last class. So pretty much only one class for me today. We had one, a hip Pilates class at 8 a.m., 8.30, and we woke up late, but make a, make a popped up and was able to get ready really quickly and go. I just decided to stay in bed because clearly under the weather, I'm hoping my symptoms clear up sooner rather than later, but it was nice to just kind of like chill and not have to worry about getting up. But yeah, I'm excited for hiking. I hiked in California years ago and ever since I was like, I love it, but 
I just haven't had a chance to do it again. So I'm really excited to hike here in Arizona. We are at the hiking location. So now we're just stopping by the restrooms, which they actually have real restrooms tonight before we start our hike. Yay! A three hour hike at mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was gonna get hot. <laughs> It smells so good. So here's what it looks like flowered right here. So we just got back from our hike. It was really good. A mile there, a mile back, not bad at all. So great beginner's hike. And we even got back early. So now we're just kind of sitting by the pool area, trying to figure out what we want to do for dinner tonight. We ate breakfast at the restaurant Terra's here. The weather's really nice. Definitely recommend going on a hike if you come here because it's just like you get to experience the Arizona desert and like there's lots of photo ops and it was a guided one so that was really nice. They explained about all the cactuses and plants around and stuff like that. So cacti. <laughs> but we got this list. Friends sent me some recommendations but then they also gave us this list, the hotel room. So we're trying to figure out where we're gonna go. Nathan wants some Mexican, so we're looking for some Arizona mix. Yeah, and then this is our view right now. Seventy degrees, feels really good. And by the way, if you don't have a backpack, because I was worried about that, I didn't bring a hiking backpack. They they'll give you a backpack, so that was really nice, so that you can put your stuff in there, your water, whatever you bring. So don't worry about bringing a hiking backpack if you're coming here and you plan on going on one of the resort hikes. Third time's the charm. Headed to the spa this time to get my spa access time. So it's been a couple hours here and then we go to our class this evening and then we made reservations at a Mexican spot. So take a look at this place. Gorgeous. this private pool for the spa. I'll try that later. Women's relaxation steam. Nobody in here. Love how they put the agate on the wall. So relaxation room and then I think I go through here. Trying to make it to the locker room. This is like a very cool area, calming. The water fountain here, faces to sit, and then towels. All the things they have in the spa, brushes, 
Try to get one of these. Definitely use one of their shower caps over here for my hair. So I'm gonna get a wet. I'm about to enjoy some spa time finally. Um, whenever you go to the spa, you're able to have um, access to the rest of the amenities in the spa. So I'm about to go do that. between the cold and the hot is crazy like literally whenever you get back into the hot water it feels like pins and needles it feels like a bunch of needles on your skin so it's definitely an experience I think the max of time I've spent in the cold was 20 seconds so not much but I'm just proud of myself that I did it but I'm gonna spend some time in the sauna and then I'm gonna try out the steam room headed to the pool area So I know I said that we were going to go to a Mexican spot, but after talking to a few of the guests at the pool, um, they told me that that spot was a no-no. So we rearranged our plans and we are going to go to a steakhouse that had great reviews. This is the pool area, pretty dead right now. The pool is heated. Yeah, that feels good. But I think I'm going to go to the hot tub because it's not chilly, but not warm at the same time. So we are at the pool. I'm just laying out because we have a two o'clock yoga class. So I think after that I'll actually get in the water, but I'm just enjoying the atmosphere. This is Nika's activated charcoal drink that she got from the cafe. They have like smoothies in there and like lattes and I think salads or something, but how would you rate this? Five. A five. <laughs> activated charcoal, five. But yeah, just reading, chilling out before we have to go do our class. So we had an amazing yoga class and then we went to go change again so we could go back to the spa so now we're headed to the spa and we're gonna chill before our next class in two hours <laughs> we we're at Keeler's Steakhouse for dinner last night it was recommended look cute outdoor area here with heaters So we attended a journaling class and one of the helpful parts of the class was a, a wheel of life that she gave us and essentially it covers sexuality, recreation, career, class business, romantic relationships, physical and mental health, money and wealth, family, friends, and community and then spirituality and you have to go in and rank 
you know, where things are right now in your life. And from there, see what you can work on, like what the lowest ones are, and see what you can start working on. It. Well, it was a really good class. I'm not a journaler, so that's why I wanted to take the class. It really surprised me how much I was able to write down during the activity. So, definitely recommend taking that class if you get the chance or anything that she does because everybody I spoke with recommended it was raving about her, Veronica Lynn Clark. So, yeah, I think I left there with something and something that's going to hopefully improve my life. So, great experience. So this is the end of our vlog and our trip. It was an amazing trip. It's definitely something I would recommend to almost anyone. Um, if you need a reset, if you need a rest, if you just need to have some self-care time, definitely recommend it, especially for moms. Um, it was a beautiful resort. Um, the room was okay, but I would still go back. So I met a couple people here who come back every single year. Um, I do not blame them at all. So hope you enjoyed this review slash vlog. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I can answer them. Um, and thanks for watching.